Hey everybody! Uh, it is Monday, uh, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and we are live. And I am Braz, a brand ambassador with Redesign with Prima, and um, my business is New Old Vines. And let me just turn my music down. Hold on. Because it's a little loud. There, we just turn it off. Okay. When you hop on, let me know that, uh, that you're here and say hi. So I know I'm not just talking to myself. All right, um, so today we are going to make a sign. So if you guys know me, if you've ever watched any of my videos, um, you know I just love to make signs. Um, it's one of my, my most favorite things to do. So um, I got this sign. It's actually um, originally from the Target, and it was a, and I don't know if you can see it, there was a tree here. It was a really, really kind of boring um, Halloween thing. I don't know. Um, but I found it at the thrift store. So, you know, so it was only like a buck or something. But it's a good size. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to, uh, to make into a sign. So it does have these little ridges in it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we can do with that. There's like all these little, it's like a slat, you know? Um, kind of similar to like bead board or something like that, right? Um, so instead of just putting the transfer on top, we're gonna try and get it in between all of those and I'll show you what, what we do for that. So the transfers that I'm gonna work with today will be Sweet Dreams, which has all these really cute, sweet little animals in their balloons. It's so cute. And probably maybe a little bit of Sweet Lullaby, which has all of the um, uh, clouds and hearts and stars. No, no hearts on this one. The hearts are on the other. But there's stars, lots of stars and uh, cute clouds. And then if I want to add a little bit more um, flowers, then uh, I also do have the sweet, uh, the Hello Baby from uh, last release. All right. So previously to doing this, I chose what transfer I was going to use. I mean, what, which animal I was going to pick. So, um, I mean, they're all really cute. So I'm just going to show you what they are. So down here is the little mousy and the duck. So I'm going to probably use the duck because the duck is just super cute. And it's a little itty bitty. But the mouse is so sweet, so cute. And it has one balloon. And then the bunny is just beautiful. It's so pretty. Hi, Joe. And then we've got... The bunny has two balloons, so it has a pink one and a kind of blush color one. And then there's some hearts and then another uh, like cute little cloud with a smile and rosy cheeks. And then there's some, you know, just stars here. Okay, and then on the other sheet is the one that I'm going to use, part of what I'm going to use. Let me just roll this other guy up here so it's out of the way. Okay, so this one has the pink uh, pink cloud. It's super cute. Hi, Patricia. Wow, Ireland. Awesome. Hi, Sheila. Thank you. And then there's another heart. And then this really pretty um, hot air balloon. Let me try and get, no, there we go. And then the this little guy, I'm assuming is a, what do we, what do we think he is? A squirrel or a fox? I don't really know. Squirrel maybe? Montana, you guys got snow. <gasps> it's still really warm here. And 
And then we have the beautiful elephant. And the elephant is the one that I'm going to use today because it's just so pretty. So cute. And it fit perfectly on um, the board because the board is really technically, it's a square. All right, so I'm going to cut this out. And you think it's a squirrel, Joe? Yeah, I mean, it probably is. I don't know, the ears are throwing me off, so. You never know. Okay, so, oops, I think, let me see. I wanted, I think, the heart and the pink, I think, pink uh, cloud. So I'm gonna cut them out, and if I don't need them, no biggie, I'll just wrap it back up with, um, with it after the fact. Okay, and then, um, and I think on this one I wanted, what did I, I want the duck, right? The cute little ducky. The cute little ducky, look at the cute little ducky. Hold on. What are you using the transfer on? Joe, I'm gonna put it on a board. I'm gonna point it down. Here, let me just point it down now so you guys can see. Okay, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I may just move it after the fact, but this is what I'm doing it on. See this board here? It's a big wood, uh, not, I mean, it's not a huge wooden board. I think it's probably like 20 by 20, which is still a good size. Okay, so let me get the ducky, because the ducky I just think is so cute. Cute little ducky. Hello, little ducky. Quack, quack, quack. Oh. Okay, I'm going to shut up. All right. Don't need to let everybody know you're insane, Rose. Okay. I really like the other hearts, too, but we shall see if we can fit them in. Okay. Okay. The tree guys are cooperating with me. They are outside. My neighbor had a tree go down because we had the hurricane come through. We were out of power for three days. It was lots of fun and not. Hey, Dustin. Okay, so let's see. Put these over here for now so I have a little more room so I can turn it a little bit more sideways so y'all can see. Okie dokie. All right, so first of all, <laughs> the ducky is so cute. Okay, so we're going to do the elephant. Okay, so you see the grid shows... Thank you, Tamara. I appreciate that. Tamara? Tamara, Tamara, Tamara. I don't know. I the grids on, um, on the transfer show... Um, you know, that the, the elephant should be, uh, on an angle. Um, but I don't, I don't want to do that. And I'm not going to draw like a whole, you know, scene or whatever behind the elephant. I, so I want it to be somewhat straight. So we're going to ignore the grid lines today, but any other time, you know, we would be utilizing them for sure, especially on something that's like this square. Hi, Lori. Thanks for joining guys. All right. So I'm going to cut out this star here and use it somewhere else after and then I believe I'm going to take these stars off up here and use those somewhere else after as well and then I'm going to keep these ones are okay still there all right let me see if I can move it so you guys can see just a little bit better it might be a little bumpy for a sec hang on there we go. All right, hold on. I'll push it down a bit more. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. Is that a bit better, a little more clear? I think so. Okay. All right, so I know it's, it's wacky to see the grid lines going one way and you want to put them straight, but we're not going to. We're going to pretend like they're not there at all. 
All right, so this guy's gonna go girl. It's a girl, because she has flowers in her hair. So this little lady, she's gonna go right there like that. Okay, now, the tubes, all the tubes come with the stick. And normally I ab absolutely love the stick and I use the stick on everything. But today, because we need to get into all of these little grooves, I will be using the tool, the transfer tool from Redesign with Prima. You can get it at your local retailer. Okay. Uh, but the stick usually suffices and I usually like it much more than I do the stick. But today will be stick. Okay. So, fingers crossed this works. Okay. Because I, I don't know if it will, but I'm assuming it will. I mean, it can't be that much different than doing it on furniture, right? Getting in the grooves. All right, we're gonna get in the groove. Okay, taking your back off nice and slowly. Don't need to rip it off. No need to get crazy. Don't forget, we're not going with the, the, uh, the, 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 the blah, blah, blah. We're not going with the grid line. We don't want the grid line. We don't care about the grid line. We're gonna pretend like it's not there. And I'm just going to lay it down gently where I'm going to want to put it and I'm not going to stick it down yet like I'm not using my hands to stick it down or anything yet because I need to get the tool down into the grooves so I'm I'm normally on like furniture or something I would start in the middle and work my way out but because I need to go slat by slat by slat by slat, I'm going to start on the end and work my way this way. At least I think that's what I'm going to do. This is my plan. I hope it works. If not, well, then y'all get to see me have breakdown. I mean, you know. Okay. So I already tested earlier to make sure this end would fit into my groove perfectly, and it does. So that's a positive. Oh, there go the tree guys. Great, here we go. Okay, anyway, so here we go. We are going to start right here on, his, on her butt and push her butt, her butt cheek into that groove, okay? Oop, we don't need that one to fall down yet. Okay, and then, so her butt cheek is now in that groove, and then I'm just going to carefully stick her ear in there as well. Now, I haven't pushed down on either side of where her ear is, so you can still see it's, it's floppy on this side. Well, it is the butt cheek. It's a butt cheek. <laughs> so I haven't I haven't attached the ear yet, but I have pushed it down into um, that groove. Same with her butt cheek. So now I can make sure that 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 side of her butt cheek is applied to this piece, this groove here, right? And then same with the same with the ear. Okay. And then work my way over just a bit, halfway. Okay, so this is attached, and I'm I'm not going to touch it because I don't want it to attach. Okay, so next, now we have to go through her leg and then up through her ear again. All right. And then you just gotta kind of be careful to not have like a huge wrinkle. And this can apply to furniture as well. You're gonna to wanna to do basically the same steps when you're doing furniture too. And the only reason that I'm doing it this way is because I want it to be a nice, even flow across the picture. Um, technically, I could have just applied it down and then taken my razor knife and sliced between each one but I didn't want that line to run through um, the body 
you know, in the face and stuff. Like I didn't want to cut her face or anything, you know? So I figured this way was probably a little bit uh, nicer and smoother transition for her. Cause she's so cute. She doesn't want to be chopped up. All right, so next we're gonna do, I'm just going to be careful, make sure that we're getting no bubbles between so I'm just kind of going along and finishing off where I transitioned with the side there right if that makes sense I hope that made sense because I'm, when I'm going over that section I'm only doing halfway on on this piece here this slat right all right, and then just gonna run it through once more time just to make sure it's there. Do it on this one too. Do it on this one too. Okay. And then halfway. Oh, I forgot my stars. Let me do my stars. Okay. And then halfway along that slat, and then I'm moving on. So now I'm at her foot here. Uh, my dog's going crazy. All right. It was really bad timing for the tree guys to show up right when I had to do my live. Okay. All right. So you can see as I'm doing that, that you see this piece over here still moving, right? Because I have not applied that down in any way, shape, or form because I, I wanna make sure I'm getting in between each slat here nicely. Okay, now I do half of this slat here. Finish off this last slat, make sure that's done. Okay, now I'm moving on to the next. Going through her foot. Okay. Make sure I get the air bubbles there. All right, I need to get the balloon too. So you can see as I'm going, this side is moving. It's still not attached, right? All right, let's do the balloon. Now I can apply, I can rub the transfer on the side and then halfway on this slat here. That just makes it so that I know these guys aren't going anywhere, right? Just it helps to hold it in place, but still not have to hold it, not have it um, attached on this side, right? Okay, so now we can do the trunk. So cute. And then this balloon, finish this balloon here. Okay. And then halfway. Make sure I'm getting all of it, all right. Okay, through that balloon, through that balloon. So cute. Okay, all right, so I did my half there. Get it in there, okay half on this side, and then I've got just a smidgen left over here. And then I think I've got it all. I'd go over it one time real quick, make sure everything is attached down. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna pull it back and see if it all adhered good. Did it, did it, did it? I 
think so. I need to get my edges a little bit more on the feetsies. Make sure all my little edges are gotten. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Just rock it back and forth. and balloon. Look how cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to run it, my hands over all of it. Just make sure there's no air bubbles. Make sure it's applied. All right. And then in all my grooves, it is in all my grooves. Sweet. All right, check it out. Look how pretty it looks when it's like all nice and even like that, right? Like I really think that had I taken the razor knife and cut each slat, it just would have looked like I had chopped her face up and that wouldn't have been good. This way it looks like it's natural and supposed to be like that and printed that way. Cause you don't see any cracking, nothing. It's in there, it's perfect. There's no halo, nothing. Like, let me go real close if I can. Can y'all see that? Beautiful. Look how perfect that is. Yay. So cute. And I totally don't mind that you can still see the pattern of the tree um, behind it just kind of looks like there's like a like a pattern like some kind of really cool look pattern I mean it didn't really even look like a tree I don't know what it was it was the weirdest looking tree I've ever seen but I think it looks really cool and I only did one coat this was um, uh, fusion mineral paint I did uh, one part uh, casement with one part um, cathedral taupe and it's just like a nice little soft cream color which is all I wanted all right it's so cute <laughs> all right so now we get to do fun stuff so ducky ducky definitely has to come on over here ducky is like having a whole conversation with elephant okay so we're gonna put ducky right there ducky looks good right there huh isn't that adorable i think it's adorable too i think it's so cute makes me want a baby again like you know maybe for like a split second and then no okay so we're gonna put ducky here now, Ducky, I can line up with um, the grid. I can use the grid lines with the Ducky. So let me show you. But I'm going to still have to do the same thing. But I'm lining up my, my grid lines with my slats. So, see, he's having a whole conversation with the elephant. It's so cute. They're like best buds. Okay. So we're going to put that there. And I'm just going to hold it because I have to do the same thing. So again, I'm not sticking it down. I'm just going to use my tool to get into that slat. And it's, you know, see it's not stuck down on this side and it's not stuck down on this side. But it is stuck down in the middle. So now that it's stuck down in the middle... I can go ahead and apply. It just makes it look a little more professional, I think, when it looks like it was part of it, you know? All right, and then we can take little ducky. Little ducky, so cute. Having a whole conversation. They're best buds. 
All right, now we get to fill in with fun stuff. The cloud. Where should the cloud go? If we do the cloud, we don't have to do the cloud. We could just do hearts and stars. And maybe some florals. What do you think? I think maybe like another floral. I think a heart over here would be really cute though. So let's do that. I think I don't, I don't know if I like the, I don't know if I like the cloud. I think the cloud is a little, a little uh, cute though, but not what I want. All right, so we'll put cloud over there and we'll leave cloud for something else. All right, so I do want to put, I think I want to put a heart over here. All right, so let's put a heart over here. I'm going to move this down a bit. Let's turn it. There we go. Now y'all can see perfect. So I think I want to do it like so. So I'm just going to hold it on the corner. I'm not applying it yet. Because again, I got to do the same thing and I have to get into the groove of that slat. Okay. And then halfway on that one. And then there we go. Make sure that's in there. Okay, and poof, so cute. Okay, I did do it the right way. Yeah, I did, okay. I was gonna be mad for a sec there. So, let's see. I think maybe a star. Maybe a star there. Maybe the little stars here. About that way. Or I could put them there. Okay. So I need, I need more hearts. Uh-huh. I do. I need more hearts. Let's see. What else do we have? There's two little stars there on that one, so that's not going to work. There is hearts on this one, but they're more like a cream color. Or, I mean, a, like a peach color. I don't want peachy color. We have, oh, we have the light colored, the light colored ones. Okay, I can get with that. We'll do those ones. When they come with stars. Okay. And or this one. All right. Let's see. I don't want them to stick to each other now. Hold on. Technical difficulties here. Oh, I need the little stars too. I mean the gold stars. Oh, that one came out. Okay. Yeah. Ah, I'm being attacked. The transfer's attacking me. Was attacking me. Okay, so I think this one would be really cute. We should have probably put the pink over here. Oh well. So that's the same color as that. And there's the pink blue. Mm, I need pink. I need pink. We don't have any more pink, pink stars. I mean, pink, uh, pink hearts. I like this pink. I want that pink to match the, 
two hickeys, but there are no more. There was only one uh, gumdrops. What am I going to do now? Okay. Well, what we're going to do is. Hmm. That can go here. That can go there. I guess I can put the the cloud because the cloud is pink, right? Is the cloud pink or is the cloud peach? I think the cloud is peach. Ooh, what about the moon? Did y'all see the moon in the other one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me look at this one. Oh, open, open sesame. Oh, those ones are, <gasps> look at the moon is so cute. Yeah, those are like really pink too, eh? Like not pink, but like, uh, like a coral color. They match with the other hearts. They're all stuck together. I do like the moon. I think I'm going to have to do the moon. And maybe the gray. The gray and the moon. Yeah? What do you think? I think the gray and the moon would be cute. All right. Now they're all stuck together. So redesign. It got a whole new um, manufacturer and everything, right? So that's why we have the grid lines now and the better backing and all that. But man, do they ever stick some tape on these things, right? Am I right? Drives me bonkers. It gets all over everything. But I'm not complaining because the transfers are now awesome, right? So, just saying. Okay. Guys, I got it, I got it. Oh. Mm. Love it. And look at these cute little itty bitty stars. I mean, how adorable are these transfers? Okay. I'll put this here for now. Hold on. I'm gonna roll this all back up. Okay. Put this back in the tube. Oh, I forgot there's a doohickey in there. Stick. <laughs> the tape, right? I mean, <laughs> it is not just like a little tiny piece of tape. It's like this long. They're like this long, literally. Like at least three inches. It's got to be. Okay, so let's see. I think the, the moon would be really cute. I love the moon. Look at how cute the moon is. So cute. Okay. 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 Here we go. We're going to put the moon up there. Because I think the moon is adorbs. Alright. Where should we put the moon specifically though? Okay. Let me put these guys over here so I can see what is happening. Let's see. Moony, moony, moon. Where should the moon go? I think the moon would be really cute up here. So that is where we're going to put it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to leave the stars too. I think the stars are really cute. Okay, so... And then I was thinking putting, um, this is the fun part. You don't think I need the cloud? I was thinking of putting the cloud over here. So that's what I was going to say. Let me see how the cloud would look. Oh, I could do an overlap. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, maybe I can do a flower here or something. One of the flowers from the, the old... Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't need that one then. So, okay, let's put the, because I do, I do like the moon. I think the moon is cute. So let's do the moon. Okay, I know it's not um, set up correctly for y'all. So give me one sec. Make sure I have it where it needs to be even. It's not even. Okay, there. Ah! And then I moved it, of course. All right, so now I'm going to turn it. Maybe I'll go down a bit more. How about, about there? Flower would be cute. Too low. What's too low? I went too low? You think that's too low? I like it there. I think I'll go right there. Okay, we're going there. We're committing. Here we go. Okay. And then halfway. And down the middle again. And halfway. And then down the middle. All right. Okay. See, did I get it all? All did. Okay. And same thing. Go over it with your fingers. Make sure everything is applied. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Adorbs. Okay. So now let's start adding little bits and bits in there. I think I'm going to do the this here. Okay. Ugh. The tool is so cumbersome. Okay. Or can go here. Or up here. Maybe up there. Up there. <laughs> that way. Okay, again, I got to go down the middle of it. And then I can apply. Now, let's see. Where's the old one? Here's the old one. Let's see if we can find a flower. See, look how pretty the flower is. I think the flower will be lovely. Oh, here we go with the tape again. Tape. The pain of my existence. At least these ones are small. They're long, though. But they're small. Small pieces of tape. See, I think the flower is going to be lovely. Which one? Okay. I can't remember. I haven't used this transfer in a really long time. So I know there's this one and this one. And then there's the bright pink. I don't want the bright pink. Ooh. And I think that was it. I think that says the hello up there. Okay. So one of these. Man, tape. I swear. Tape is crazy. So. I think this one is pretty. This one's a little bit smaller, though. We don't want to go too crazy big. Maybe this one would be better because it's smaller flowers. So a little more in scale to this. 
So guys, with this older transfer, the Hello Baby transfer, I don't know if you ever knew this, but these are the feet for the bird. They were separate on a separate sheet. <laughs> Poor birdie got his feet cut off. Okay. So that came in handy dandy. Having that. So I think that will be lovely to add to it. Mm, which way do I want to do it the same as look, it's the exact same as what's in the, I'm going to cut this little bit off here and maybe use it elsewhere. And then do like so. I think so. I think that will be pretty. Okay, we're just going to do it. We are committing. All right. Here we go. I'm not sticking it down yet. Okay, halfway, remember, and then the next one, and the plat, and get the edge. Okay. And then same thing, run over it with your fingers, make sure everything is applied down, there's no bubbles, perfect. Then I can take this little guy and I think I can stick it right in there. It just didn't fit. Well, thank you, Patricia, I appreciate that. Ugh. Tape, tape. Okay, so let's squirt that right in there. And it's okay if I overlap. All right. Okay. Here. How cute. Adorable. So cute. Let's see. I got some stars I can add. Little tiny stars. Put this one here. I need this little star to be somewhere else. Please don't stick. There we go. I did not mean for it to go that way. Okay. Add these real quick. do the same on the other side. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah, like so. And I do plan on probably um, Distressing this a little bit, adding some glaze around the edge just to give it like a little bit of a uh, an older aged feel. All 
right, and then this little guy, let's see, I'm going to stick him right up here. And I can just use my fingernail for that. Poof. All right. I think I need more of the little stars. There's one here. Put that up there. Cute. This one. I'll make it just a star fest up there. have any questions let me know I know I'm just kind of like applying crazy happy crazy here so if you need to know anything or have any questions just ask Superstars. <laughs> so cute. Look how adorable that is. Yeah, like a Hobby Lobby type shop. Um, I actually found it at the thrift store. But, um, yeah, it originally came from uh, what we call Target here. So, um I think it was in like their dollar spot. It had like a really ugly tree on it. I don't know what it was. I think it was supposed to be like a scary Christmas tree. I don't know. Or not Christmas tree, but Halloween tree or something. All right, let me see if I can uh, hold this up and you guys can see it. Okay, whoop. There we go. Can you see it? Look how cute. Oh, you know Target. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was at Target. I found it in the dollar spot. Uh... Somebody, no, they did. I found it at the, I found it at the thrift store, but they found it at the dollar spot. There we go. There, perfect. Look how cute. Look, they're little buddies. They're friends. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. I think it's adorable. So what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll distress the edges like I had started here. You can see it's just kind of like a little bit, you know, rougher. And then um, I'll probably glaze just just around just to give it like a like a vignette feel. But yeah, so I mean, that's pretty easy, right? Y'all could do that. It, it wasn't hard. Easy peasy. Hopefully uh, you're inspired to make some signs. And this was, again, um, this is the Sweet Dreams. This was part of Sweet Lullaby. And this was part of the old Hello, uh, Hello Baby transfer. So we have three different baby transfers here. And I'm going to do something similar on um, an old cradle that I found. So that should be fun and exciting when I get to that. But cute, right? Let me show you guys again up close how getting into the grooves really helps to keep it um, looking even and professional, not, you know, because originally I was thinking to cut um, each slat um, with the, the straight edge, but I think that would have not looked good and would have cut up the, the poor elephant's face and we didn't want that all right so thanks guys um if you have any questions just put them in the 
comments and I shall answer. And if not, I will see you again um, next Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern.